Hi everyone, my name is Kristen Hoffman and I'm a Microsoft MVP for business applications specializing in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Tonight I'm going to show you how you can use the report layout functionality within Business Central to customize specific reports that you or your clients are looking to have customized. In my case, I had a client reach out to me today and they said, hey, can you please modify the aged accounts receivable report? I'm exporting it from Business Central and then I'm doing a little bit of modifications to it within Excel. It's taking me about six minutes to do this start to finish. Hopefully you can help me. I started with getting some requirements from them and then I decided to go ahead and try and do the changes to the report within the system by myself without going to a developer. So let's walk through how to modify the aged accounts receivable report in Excel. So the first thing I'm going to do within Business Central is I'm going to open up the aged accounts receivable options page. I'm going to verify that the options are set up identically to how my client wants them. In this case, aged by document date, length of periods is 45 days. They want this at a detail level. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to Microsoft Excel document data only. So this is going to be step one. Step two is going to be going into the report layouts window, searching for report ID 10040. The one that shows up here is going to be the out of the box report. I do want to go ahead and create a new layout. I'm going to name this one MEC test two. I'm also going to turn off the functionality so that it's not available for all companies just because I am in the sandbox environment. Uh, but for you, if you're in the production environment, you want this report available for all companies, you definitely want to turn that on. I'm also going to leave the format options as Excel in this case. Once I click OK, I'm going to get the option to choose the file layout. This is going to be the layout that I just exported from step one. Once I do that, I'm going to click on the new report and I'm going to say export layout. Now let's talk a little bit about why I'm doing that. I'm going to go ahead and open both reports here so that you can see what the difference is between both of them. So the report on the left hand side is the report that I exported in step one. You can see within the data tab itself that there's a ton of fields in here populated and the file that I just exported from the report layouts window, the data tab is actually empty. I don't really know why it needs to be empty, but what I can tell you is that in my testing earlier today, I started working off my original file and it became corrupted. I worked with Eric Hogard on trying to figure out what the issue was and he told me just to export the layout again and then to work off of the spreadsheet that has the data tab empty. So that's what we're gonna do today. So my client asked very specifically for a couple things within their report. Let me go ahead and enable editing and bring the report back over to this window. <clears throat> so my client asked for a pivot table. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a new sheet at the bottom and I'm gonna name it pivot table. And once I have that added in here, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to insert and then I'm going to click on pivot table. Now this is where you're going to select the table or range. So from here I'm going to click on the data tab and I'm going to select all the fields within the table. From here, I know that I want the customer field first, the customer name, and then in this case, I need to do a couple, um, a couple calculated fields. So I'm just going to bring this um, down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm in column A, row 3, and I'm going to click on Pivot Table Analyze, and at the top here is Fields, Items, and Sets, and I'm going to say Calculated Fields. So in this case, the client wants um, 
the client wants the total due. And for this specific report, it's going to be the amount due, the amount due columns here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to rename this to be total due, say OK. Now I know there's another calculated field that I need to add. And this one's going to be called over 45 days. So what they specifically are wanting in this case is they want to know what is the total due per customer, but then what is due that is over 45 days due, okay? So now I have both of those in there. Now a little bit of formatting, I'm gonna come in here to each of these columns and I'm gonna make it a number using um, a comma separator. So I'm gonna do that for both. And then the last thing that they wanted um, is they wanted the sum to be sorted largest to smallest, okay? So now that I have that information in there, um, there's a, one other thing that this specific client asked for, okay? And this last thing that they asked for is they wanted to know the top three customers, um, they wanted to know what their um, percentage of due versus over um, would be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that updated here. And then I'm gonna make sure that everything ties out. And here's the report. So just within, I don't know, two to three minutes, we've set up this template for the report. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save this Excel file and I'm gonna close it. Now back in Business Central, I'm gonna go ahead and click on replace layout on the line that I just added. And it's gonna ask me, you know, are you sure you wanna do this? Uh, the action's gonna replace the current layout file. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that new layout that I had and we get a preview here so we can see that I have the right uh, file selected and I'm gonna click open. Now, the next thing you can do is click on run report. It's always good to verify your options and make sure everything looks good. Go ahead and click download. Now we're gonna go ahead and open this file. When it opens in Excel, it's gonna open up in protective view. So go ahead and click enable editing. As soon as you click enable editing, it's going to populate with the data. So you can see here that we have four customers um, on the aging, the top three, that our past due are in this other little grid over here. I'm happy with the way the report looks. The final step in Business Central is going to be to set that specific report as the default. So I'm gonna go ahead and say set default. Um, it's gonna let me know that this has been set as the default layout. I can click okay. Going back to my homepage, I do have the aged accounts receivable uh, report options window bookmarked. Once I click in there, I can see that preview is no longer an option for me, only download. Once I go ahead and download that file, I am gonna get that file to open up in Excel, just like uh, the previous step. And uh, that is the end of that. So please let me know in the comments, um, you know, how, how uh, that was. And if you have any questions, let me know as well. Um, happy developing, quote unquote, developing uh, your new reports in Business Central. Have a good day, everyone.